You know, I have the fucking, the fucking fuck, the fucking worst luck. Um, ah, I don't even know if I can be, I don't even know how to explain this. Like, how did this happen to me? It's just like, out of all the things that I have had, that have happened to me, this will probably top the, the list of the most obscene. Did I get my phone from his house? Bitch, I hope I got my phone. Okay. I did get it because of the fact that, um, I thought it was my other phone. Bitch, let me tell you something. I'm going to give you guys the story. Met a guy off a of grinder. Yes, it starts off with a guy. And as many of you guys know, um, hmm, I think if I go that way, I may have a better chance of getting a ride. As many of you all know, for reasons that I care not to divulge, I do not drive at night. So pretty much, if I need to get out, I am carless. Simple as that. Carless. Um. This guy has been really annoying me. And, like, all types of guys just annoy me now. It's just like... But anyways, as I was saying, I got this guy, met him off a grinder, and now he's texting me, like back to back. Dude. I, I, I know people always ask, like, why does she always find herself in these, like, the same predicaments? God damn. And now he's calling. Now he's calling. Hmm. I can pick that up. So, anyways, as I was saying, met this guy off a grinder. Really handsome, really cute. And I knew something was up. I knew something had to be up. Because, like, usually when I, when everything goes, like, too well, like, he was cute. Sent me a picture of this big-ass dick, honey. And, um, hmm. I always like to go down these dark areas at night. Anyways, where's that damn? Okay. Anyways, he sent me big ass deck. I get over here. And I'm just going to compose myself to tell this because I'm kind of embarrassed and I'm kind of shocked. He gets, he tells me, because we're about to get it in, kissing very heavily, and he tells me to suck it. Like, he put, and I'm like, why are all the, why are all the, why are all the lights off? And, you know, you're giving my type of cheese. Fuck. And he keeps fucking calling me. And, See, this is just sabotage. Look at this. Look at this. How in the fuck is this in the middle of the sidewalk? I'm telling y'all. Y'all think that I'm clumsy? I think that I have bad luck. And I really do think that I have a fairy thought mother that does all things shady to me. I, I know she's laughing somewhere, laughing her ass off. Um, see, I even have my overnight thought bag. That's how much I was really into this guy. And, um... Girl, you never know, honey. You gotta look at your very best when you're trying to hitchhike a ride home. Now, mind you, mind you, I can get my own ride, but he should be paying for it because we had a condition. Dude. No, you're not getting your shit back, honey. Hello? Listen, listen. No, 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 no. Listen, honey, honey, listen. 
Listen, motherfucker. No, you're not getting your dick back. Bye. So, that gives a little bit of the story. I go down and he tells me to suck his strap. And I'm like thinking like, oh, that's a new term. And I get down there and it is, it's exactly what he said. I'm like, what the, what, what? huh? What? We're gonna settle this once and for all, honey. You want something, I want something. So this motherfucker, it turns out the ultimate gag, honey, because I get on my knees, mouth watering, ready to suck that big dick, and guess what I get? I get this, this, this motherfucker right here. Now, it's not enough that you're a trans man. That's not the fucking problem. Actually, that is a lot of the fucking problem. And he's like, oh, I'm a man though. I'm saying, yeah, but you failed to tell that part. What was that dick that you that, that you sent me? Bitch, he sent me a big ass dick. You know, I was thinking like, oh my God, this is my luck. I'm finally going to get to ha have a nice white slash Spanish boy, whatever he was giving. And because I mean, I have, I've been having so much bad luck with those type. Honey, those type are the ones that usually want the fucking, they want my, my, my girl too much. So I was mad and I said, you can give me an Uber. You need to get me an Uber. He said, no, no, no. I, uh, I said, no, you need to get me an Uber. So I took his dick and I walked up out of there. I, oh, hello. Listen here. Listen. Li what? Listen here. Okay. Listen to me, tranny man. You're not getting anything back until you do your part of the deal. Listen, you said you, you deceived me. You deceived me. And not only did you deceive me, you said you're going to get me an Uber back home. I told you my situation. So guess what? You don't get me no Uber. I take your dick. So are you going to get me an Uber back? No, no, no. Well, first of all, you need, to t you need to watch your tone with me, young man. No, no. You need to watch your tone. You need to stay in a trans man's place and respect the trans woman of color. Now, listen here. I took, I took your, no, no, huh? Okay, well, I think only one of us is a man, honey, because of the child. Nothing. What's the conditions? I'm still in your neighborhood, honey. So, what are the conditions? Are you going to give me my Uber? Are we going to continue to play this game? Oh, huh. he wants to play. Well, honey... Apparently, I'm gonna be playing too. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be playing with his dick. Call me the dick snatcher, honey. I'm not. I'm. I'm not playing. I mean, think about it. I'm being very fair. There's a lot of things that I could have took that he had in his home, and I'm not a thief. But I am the type of person that, when you do me wrong, honey, don't think that you're gonna just get away scot free, motherfucker. You told me, you sent me a picture of a big ass dick. And you, and I knew, oh God, I knew something was wrong because I was like, he's too fucking nice. Like, what the fuck? I'm like, is this a gay man? I mean, all my answers have been, have been, and I get on my knees and it's a fucking man with a pussy. <sighs> Oh. 
Okay. Before all the trans men get at me and everything like that, I'm going to just say from a trans woman's perspective how hurt I am. I'm, I'm completely devastated because I feel like my cold girl summer has been twisted with lies, ungrateful motherfuckers, just like, oh, misogynist, oh, trade with thwats. And I did not think it could get any worse than this. I mean, You know what? I am too, I'm too devastated to cry. I really am. I can get my own Uber. I don't need anyone offer me any Ubers. It is just the fact that when you just keep taking L's and just keep taking L after L after L after L after, you know, it's just, it gets so depressing. He better be sending me a screenshot of a fucking Uber, honey. Because if not, he ain't getting this dick back. He is not gonna get this dick back. Oh my God. Fucking purse. This purse is a fucking nightmare. Oh. What does this tranny man want? I don't, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. Mm. Bring me my shit now. Are you gonna have a problem? <laughs> it's funny because I got more trade and masculinity from th him in this one single text than I've been getting from him like We can do this the hard way or we can do this the easy way, honey. I'm not that far away from the Los Angeles River. You know, the man-made one, because nothing here is real. Um, hmm. Listen here. Hey, can you hear me? This fucking fucked up phone. <laughs> this phone is, this phone is, is, is as fucked up as my love life and you are. Ugh. I can't even read you the right way because I'm having technical issues with this fucking cricket phone. EBT, motherfucker. Okay. <sighs> Pussy man, are you there? Hey. 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 Listen. Hello? I'm here. Been here. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so we are already getting off on the bat. See, you're not going to ask me the questions like you're the motherfucker. Like you're the motherfucker that's running things. I think we've already established that you're not running anything. Yeah, because you ran away with my dildo and I want you to bring it back. So I can put it also, now it's a... Game. So now it's a dildo. Mm. Before, it was a dick. Isn't it? No, 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 sweetie, sweetie, mm-mm, mm-mm, see, now we have a problem, because see, you basically sent me a fake pic of a dick, and then you got, and you cut all the lights off, and I knew something was up, because I'm like, wait a minute, this is what I used to do with Trey when I was 16, and I would say, come into my dark apartment, you know, and I knew something was up because you kept, you kept like, every time I was like, oh, let me see it, let me see it. And you're like, oh, oh. Once again, one of my tactics that I used to do when the trade was trying to, you know, get a little bit too close or he wasn't drunk and, or didn't have enough drugs. And I'm like, uh-uh, you're, you're too, you bitch, you're too sober. So I knew what you was up to. So this is what we... But you were being dishonest. 
You're being dishonest about your dick. Listen, listen, tranny man. Listen, tranny man. You're being dishonest about your dick, and now you're being dishonest about giving me a ride back home. So this is what we're gonna do. If you want this, if you want this motherfucking dildo, it's gonna be 50 bucks. 50 bucks plus my Uber, or I'm gonna, this motherfucker is gonna see the bottom of the LA River. And you know I'm not that far away from the LA River. I said what I said. Now, give me my Uber and give me my money. Tranny man. Oh, it's so offensive. Tra Fuck being offensive. Lying to a woman and deliberately not telling her that you happen to be a man with a badge is very deceitful and very transphobic. Now that bitch you sitting here sending me fake dick pics. Send me fake dick pics. And just fake all around. You don't get you don't get the nerve to, you don't get the privilege of telling me to bring you your shit back on. I'm, I'm being fucking transphobic. Honey, you lie to a girl like that, you lie to a thought, send her all these dick pics, and then you get down there and there's no dick. That's the real act of violence right there. You're playing with my social love life. <sighs> you know. I honestly, I honestly kind of don't know where in the fuck I am. Okay because I thought I was near the LA River, and I'm not. Mm. Mm. Oh, let me look on my fucking Google Maps and see the fuck where I'm at. See, this is why I don't like taking Uber when, oh fuck, I don't have the, the Uber thing because he ordered the Uber. Oh, fuck. See, this is what happens when you give someone too much motherfucking control. And see, the fat girl in me was prepared. I had my Slim Jim, everything, just ready. Because, like, we were going to, girl, I just knew something. I knew something was off. I knew something was off. Like, so we had a conversation about watching Noah's Ark and like having a Noah's Ark marathon, which wouldn't be that long because they only did two seasons and a movie. But the fact of the matter is, is that I was like, okay. Mm. We're gonna have to negotiate some terms here because I thought I was, you know, somewhere I wasn't and I was popping off. Uh, where's that damn phone? Oh my God, I don't know which one I lose the most, my phone or my mind. <sighs> okay. Oh, we're gonna have to negotiate some terms here and um, look at the situation in a different angle. Cause um, I don't know where the fuck I'm at. Okay. I thought I had leverage before, but I don't exactly have all the leverage I thought I had. So, we're going to see if we can approach this manner in a different way. If I can fucking... Oh, shady thought mother. Back again. Okay. Hey, um, Virgil. Is, is, that, your, is that your name? Vir, vir, hello? So he wants to hang up the phone now. Do you think he sensed like desperation in my voice or something? Um, would be nice. Oh, now it's going straight to voicemail. Okay. This is what you do. Mm. You call from another phone call from another phone because um okay 
here we go. Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Hmm. Oh, hello? A phone that is just as problematic. Wow. It's like, I don't, I can't figure out which one is giving me the most shade. The phone or him? Wow. Every time the phone comes on, the screen goes black, just like this. This is, this is so shady. Look at this. Who, okay. Oh, and there he goes again. They hung up. Um. Hey, hello. Hello. Please leave your message for three, four, seven, four, seven, nine, five. Okay, so we're gonna do talk to text. Hmm. Listen here, Virgil. I was out of line. I did not take into consideration how transphobic and violent my words sound. I think that we should talk this over. And I think that we should come to a common grounds of reconciliation. We're both people of the trans struggle. And we should not be at odds. Call me when you get this message. Okay, so this is how this is how we solve things like this. You know, I was being a little bit out of line and everything. Um, do I have his dick? Bitch. Oh my God, did I leave that dick behind on the street? Fuck. Damn. Oh, oh, my God. I hope his dick is still there. Oh. Oh. This is crazy. This is beyond crazy. Oh. I get stranded and left behind and I leave a man's dick behind and I have to take a man's dick because he won't, he won't do the right thing and get me the Uber that he said he was going to get me. <sighs> okay. See, this is, how, this is how things work against me. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be, you know, trans friendly to, and you know, hello? 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 Go swallow a whole rock of meth, bitch. Get your own. Oh. Oh, oh, you got jokes now. You got jokes now, honey. <laughs> Come on, honey. Get on this phone so I can read you. Read you for the filth that you are. Mm-hmm. You want to play games. You want to you read. But you, but you want to keep singing it to voicemail. Hello? Hello? Hey, um... Let's, let's just... Let's, um... Let's reconciliate this and, you know, look at this from a different point of view. I understand that you're very angry. I hear your pain, you know, and I share, I share the same platform as your pain. So I'm going to be the bigger person and I will bring you your penis back. Um, hello? Hello? Listen here, faggot. Listen, I'm not... You fake man with your fake dick. I was trying to be nice to you, but now you want to be a fucking asshole. 
a fucking asshole and you talk about you you're talking oh I'm different oh I'm different and now you're sitting here playing on the phone well guess what little guess what tranny man the deal is off I will get my own motherfucking Uber and see you can't even be nice to even the fake men and I do mean fake by being fake not in the other sense now, I'm not going to use that as a sound bite to basically say, oh, she's transphobic. Oh, she's trans. I, I... What, tranny man? What do you want, tranny man? You know what? Stay in a trans man's place. And get the fuck off my phone. Fuck you. I will talk to you guys later. I am. Um, I need to give me a ride. And as long as I have this phone on. And as long as I deal with this pussy man here. I'm not going to get that solved. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.